Here are some of the top 10 news stories that you should know about today. Virgin Galactic's first space tourism flight. The company founded by billionaire Richard Branson has announced the three passengers who will be aboard its first space tourism flight, scheduled for later this year. They are a former NASA astronaut, a Canadian entrepreneur, and a British researcher. They will join Branson and two pilots on the suborbital flight that will last about 90 minutes and reach an altitude of more than 80 kilometers. Extreme heat wave in Europe and Asia. A record-breaking heat wave is scorching parts of Europe and Asia, with temperatures reaching as high as 52.2 degrees Celsius in Xinjiang, China. The heat wave has triggered wildfires, droughts, power outages, and health emergencies in several countries, including Greece, Spain, Italy, Turkey, Iran, and Pakistan. Experts warn that the heat wave is a sign of the worsening effects of climate change and urge governments to take urgent action to reduce greenhouse gas emissions. Underground climate change. A new study has revealed that climate change is not only affecting the surface of the Earth, but also its underground layers. The researchers found that the rising temperatures and melting ice are causing the ground to deform and shift in unpredictable ways, posing risks to buildings, infrastructure, and natural resources. The study suggests that underground climate change could have significant impacts on the stability and security of human societies. Tunisia's refusal to be a reception center for returning migrants. Tunisia has rejected a proposal by the European Union to become a reception center for migrants who are intercepted or rescued in the Mediterranean Sea while trying to reach Europe. The North African country, which is facing economic and political challenges, said it will only take back its own nationals and not other nationalities. The EU has been struggling to find a solution to the migration crisis that has seen thousands of people die or suffer abuse while attempting the perilous journey. U.S. Climate Envoys Meeting with China John Kerry, the U.S. Special Presidential Envoy for Climate, has arrived in Beijing for talks with his Chinese counterpart, Xie Zhenhua. The meeting comes amid rising tensions between the two countries over issues such as trade, human rights, and cybersecurity. However, both sides have expressed their willingness to cooperate on climate change, which they consider a common challenge and a priority. The meeting is expected to focus on how to implement the Paris Agreement and enhance global action to reduce emissions. Olive Oil Industry Crisis in Europe The olive oil industry in Europe is facing a crisis due to a combination of factors such as bad weather, pests, diseases, low prices, and competition from other regions. The situation has affected millions of farmers and producers who depend on olive oil for their livelihoods. Some experts warn that the crisis could threaten the quality and diversity of one of Europe's most iconic products. U.S. Withdrawal from Afghanistan The U.S. has announced that it will complete its military withdrawal from Afghanistan by August 31, ending its longest war after nearly 20 years. The decision has raised concerns about the fate of the Afghan government and people who are facing a resurgent Taliban insurgency that has captured large swaths of territory. The U.S. has said it will continue to support Afghanistan diplomatically and financially, but also urged other countries in the region to play a constructive role in ensuring peace and stability. Haiti Assassination Case Haitian authorities have arrested more than 20 suspects in connection with the assassination of President Jovenel Moise on July 7. The suspects include former Colombian soldiers, Haitian Americans, and Haitian police officers. The motive and mastermind behind the killing remain unclear, as well as the role of foreign entities such as private security firms. The assassination has plunged Haiti into deeper turmoil and uncertainty amid political and social unrest. Protests in Cuba against the government Thousands of Cubans have taken to the streets in unprecedented protests against the communist government, demanding more freedom and better living conditions. The protesters have expressed their frustration over the lack of food, medicine, electricity, and internet access amid a severe economic crisis worsened by the COVID-19 pandemic and U.S. sanctions. The government has blamed the U.S. for inciting the unrest and deployed security forces to disperse the demonstrations. Several activists and journalists have been arrested or reported missing. Ethiopia-Tigray Conflict The conflict between Ethiopia's federal government and the Tigray region has escalated in recent weeks with reports of atrocities committed by both sides against civilians. The UN has warned that more than 400,000 people are facing famine in Tigray, 
where humanitarian access is severely restricted. The conflict has also spilled over into neighboring regions such as Amhara and Afar, raising fears of a wider civil war. The international community has called for an immediate ceasefire and a political dialogue to end the crisis. These are some of the top 10 news around the world today. I hope you found this draft helpful and informative. If you want to watch some more videos please subscribe our YouTube channel.